Hey everybody, JRSPC here with another pack break video and we're doing the vintage ones again. This is 1991 Fleer Football. Uh, not a super valuable pack, but it sure is a cool uh, set. I, I very much like these Pro Visions right here. Uh, so I'm hoping to get one of those. What are they worth? Eh, not very much, but, uh, but I like them. There's the back of the pack right here. There's your little, your little order in for $4.99, a beautiful... I don't even know how to say that word right there. A pen. Serial numbered. First issue card will make a handsome addition to your Flair football collection. Uh, this pack's got 14 cards in it. Man, I remember back in the day when there was 15 cards. They must have started cutting back around 1991. I think that they were still 15 cards um, most of the time around there. But anyways, that was just me being dumb. Uh, they usually were 14 cards per pack. Uh, these cheaper sets back in the day, uh, including basketball and uh, baseball and even hockey. So let's get right into it. Let's throw that cool pack right back there, cover up my ugly mug. Okay, well, let's take a look. All right, 1991. See, 1991 baseball was that bright yellow border. Uh, not everyone's favorite. This one's, eh, you know. Just kind of, I don't know, you know, <laughs> cut out the image and put it on a plain background. I guess it's nice because it's not so cluttered up, but a uh, very, very basic card. Here's a look at the back of it. A little bit more action going on there. <laughs> Got some nice stats there. Uh, all the all the uh, specifics about the young man, Howie Long, who's a Hall of Famer, by the way. All right, Andre Reed. Hey, there's Joe Montana. Very nice. Like how the color matched the uh, the name with you know one of the colors on the card, like the gold J Hilgenberg. Back when they did lots of linemen guys, Kevin Porter. Oh, the infamous, hated, dreaded checklist card. Oh man, so mad when you got one of those. It's even worse when you get two. All right, Andre Risen, a star back in the day. Ruben Mays, Lonnie Young, Chris Warren. Hey, there's Clyde Simmons, Johnny Meads, and Tori Epps. Man, so many of these guys would not have cards in the sets nowadays. All those linemen and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you're lucky if you're a special teams guy, like a punt returner, you're probably not going to get a card either nowadays, like in a, in a decent set, like your optics and stuff. Maybe in Donruss, but uh, maybe in uh, like Prestige or something like that. But definitely not in a good set like uh, Prism or Optic. Okay, next pack up. Let me know what you think about these guys. Yeah, they're pretty basic, but man, good for autographs. I mean, good card stock for a signature. Lots of empty space where an autograph will, will stand out real nice. Steve Wallace. Dexter Manley. I do not know what that pose is right there, but... <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. I probably would argue about my uh, that picture choice right there if that was me. Brian Jordan, two-way player, played baseball also. Uh, so I think he played with the Cardinals for a minute. I played with the uh, Braves, and that's about all I can remember about Brian Jordan. But he's not a two-way athlete back in the day with Dion. Uh, Vaughn Johnson. Rich Gannon, a good quarterback for a long time. Robert Blackman. Keith Jackson. Sean Jones. Tim Worley. Rob Moore. Burt Grossman, Randall McDaniel, and Bill Maz. All right, I wonder if he's in relation to Kevin Maz. So we got we got Hall of Famers and and each pack so far. See if we get any more Hall of Famers. I didn't really start collecting football cards until about 1994. Uh, I started watching football in about. I, well, it's really, I think it was like 91, but it could have been like, could have been late 80s. But I didn't get really big into football until 94. So, hey, there's another Hall of Famer, Bruce Smith. Tom Rathman, he was a great one back in the day. Pretty, I mean, he was good for a period, you know. Ron Morris. Barry Ward. Another stinking checklist. And, you know, back in the day, like nowadays, you get like one checklist for the whole set. Back in the day, the sets were so big, you'd get all, a whole bunch of checklists. I don't even know how to say that guy's name. Ve Sekahema. I don't know if I've ever said his name before. Hey, there's Dion, Another Hall of Famer. Prime time. 
Uh, Brett Perriman, Ben Smith, interesting font. It looks slightly thinner than the other stuff. Definitely slightly different font, the name, font, you can see there. Wonder what happened there. Tommy Kane, Andre Waters, Greg Montgomery, Dave Craig. Maybe that was Dave Craig in that other... Yeah, I think that was Dave Craig in that other video when I did the 88 Topps yearbook stickers. Number 17. I said Dave Craig or Jim Zorn. Jim Zorn's lefty. I thought it was a little bit early for Dave Craig, but yeah, I think it was Dave Craig. Anyways, go, you have to go check out that video. Patrick Terrence. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Short and sweet. Quick to the point. To the point. No faking. Cooking him seems like a pound of bacon. Sorry. Had to finish that. Uh, anyways, what do you think about these cards? What do you think about this vintage card pack break video? I got a playlist for it if you guys want to check out my other vintage pack breaks. Usually, they're three, three packs per video. So I love you all. See you in the next one. Later.